flow is going to demonstrate how to give a shrimp a shave and a haircut. You've seen it before, and I don't really understand why these ladies use this technique. But all they do is they literally just give them a little bit of haircut. They don't peel them, they don't devein them. They don't even know what that means. They don't even know what deveining means. Dr. Mercy tried to explain it to uh, Fatima one time. They didn't even understand. They don't take the head off. They don't take the the shell off. They just give it this haircut. I don't even understand. Baby, can you explain to the viewers? Because look, it's not even a it's not even a good haircut. You're just like giving it a trim. That's nothing wrong. You want me to cut this? Oh, well, okay, all right. Well, let's get past that. Okay. You're a good sister. You're a good baby sister to Fatima, right? Whatever she wants, you're going to do. I got it. But why don't you take the shell off? I don't know how to take off now. Is that? Yeah, take the shell off before we cook it. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying there's so many techniques to cook shrimp. Yeah. But all you ladies do is just shave not even all the legs i mean look there's still part of the legs there because it's more delicious when it when it has or it has a what what did you call this has shell? the shell and the yeah, legs it's more delicious that's what i like okay well just just show one for me yeah just just shuck one for me i told if i did mind it's okay to cook them like this but she has to uh show them for me she wants to she wants this to bat bat Baby, all I, I just requested that she shell a couple for me and she's trying to make me happy. You like the head? All right, look. All right, just cook them the way you want to cook them. It's okay. There's no no bones in the shrimp, lady. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no bones in the balloon. If I do my look, you can cook them any way you want, but the deal is you got to shell them before you put them on my my plate. Ew. I'll be glad to take over, ladies, and cook them shrimp. No. I'll put them on the grill. Put a little shrimp on the barbie. No, I don't want to you don't want on the grill? You gonna cook them in? Put some chicken wings on the grill. I don't know if we got chicken wings. Cause you forgot to buy the chicken wings, Flo. I, forgot to buy chicken. I know folks, we are the fresh options and Flo forgot to tell the lady. Only, uh, whole chicken. Yeah, we got whole chicken. We got whole chicken. But again, folks, here's the technique. It's, I mean, it's not even a close haircut. That's not even giving these shrimps a high and tight. I mean, that's like a, that's like a four on top and a two on the sides. This is just an army cut. <laughs> that's not even an army cut, dude. <laughs> Maybe that one's a little bit close. But most of the time, Fatima just like trims them halfway. I don't understand the technique. All right, they got little carrots, garlic, and onions. What's going on with this shrimp right here? Folks, you just got back from our little trip, our little 24 hours over at the Fields Plaza Hotel. Everybody had a grand old time over there. Wonderful time. But we're looking forward to the ABC Hotel for our next 24 hour excursion. Folks, on a previous premiere, uh, through the kindness of y'all's hearts, y'all sent Flo some money to buy some new shoes because I was pointing out that these these cruisers right here are just horrible for walking and the walking tour. So sure enough, I gave them some money. And can you tell everybody what you did with your money for the shoes today? No. Just go ahead and tell them. No. I'll tell on you. Folks, do you think she bought new shoes? No, she did not. She sent the money to the village so she can get the Filipina 
uh, uh, big heart award. Because she, he said that he's the one who buy the shoes. She ordered, he already add add to the cart, but not yet. What? Not yet, <laughs> You just add the cart. Oh, so you just only. you're just waiting for me to buy them shoes yeah, on Lazada. You said you said you said. That's the end. Right. <laughs> you said. What? That's the end? <laughs> you said. You said. I have no idea what your sister's <laughs> trying to say, honey. You said. You said. You said you're the one. Mm, buy them. Okay, so I gotta buy you some new shoes, and the shoe money yeah, uh, got sent why, to the village. That's why. You, but you got the Filipina Big Heart Award today, right? You got the best because, daughter. You got the best daughter award today. Because uh, the, Flo. the babies don't have milk. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to explain why these shoes are still here on the set. You want me to throw that outside? Yeah. Just, just take them. Look, when the little girl that like, scraps comes around, just, just give them to her. Maybe she can give them to her mama or something. <laughs> But we have plenty of shoes around here, and those are the ugliest damn shoes I've ever seen. That's not shoes, that's a sleeper. Yeah, oh, it's the see? ugliest pair of cruisers I've ever seen. They got to go. Okay, Flo, they're going off the balcony. I'm gonna see how far I can throw them down the street, baby. Son, do you wanna swim, or you just wanna chill out in the hot tub here in the living room? Ladies, I think he's missing the hot tub over at the at the Fields Plaza Hotel. He just chilling. Hey, got a blanket and a pillow. <laughs> what are you doing, son? Hey, boy. So did you ladies have a good time at the at the Fields Plaza? Yeah, I'm excited to go out. What about you? You have a good time? Yeah. All right, we're going to, go to the ABC Hotel, but you ladies got to do some dancing on the pole. Huh? Yeah. ABC? ABC, baby. We're going to get the Fiesta Party Suite so you can dance on that pole. Uh, easy, easy, baby. Easy now. Easy. Don't scare the children. Oh, no. She's going to scare the children. That Halloween creeper. I saved that for the pool. I saved that for the pool. That it. That it. What? What's the one or not? Maria didn't have anything to do with you dropping the shrimp. <laughs> They're still... Look. I recommend a bowl for them slimy shrimp. Listen, they're gonna fall off. Put them in a bowl. Why you don't use the dog bowl? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Honey, we got perfectly good dog bowls and you're gonna put slimy shrimp, slippery, slippery shrimp on a platter. Get them in the dog bowl. So look at this one over here. This one has assumed the Filipina position Right, isn't that much better, honey? <laughs> Folks, sometimes you gotta help you. Help your lady out with just simple, simple things. Yeah, see how this is tilted back? If you put that on that, it's gonna tilt out the back and drop on the floor. Let's see what kind of skills wife number two's got. She usually does pretty good on the shrimp. That's right, you're number two. But, but you do have an opportunity to try to work your way back up to wife number one. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be a challenge for you, honey. It's a challenge. See what you got. No soy sauce. Listen, the garlic butter shrimp does not require soy sauce. You're trying to take a perfectly delicious dish and screw it up with the tuyo. Please don't do that. And Flo, what is that thing you got on your head? What exactly? What is that? Did you steal that from Maria? No, that's mine. No. Oh, what what is that? 
the purpose of that thing. Oh, see, now we're getting some wear flow. See, folks, you see the difference when a full peanut puts her hair down? See that beauty that comes out? They put their hair up, they look like a mama. You know that, right? If you put your hair up, you look like your mother. I was already mother. Well, you look like your mother, but you with teeth. I have teeth. That's what I said. You look like your mother, but you have teeth. Why can't you just wear your hair down so I can enjoy myself? So hot. You just enjoy it me. How about me? Baby, it's not about how you look, baby. It's, it's not about how you feel. It's about how you look. Yeah. <laughs> and it's about how I feel. You see? It's about how I feel and about how you look. Wait, I finished all the shrimp. Wait, it's too late. Hmm? I'll shrimp them up. I finished all the... I'll put a little more butter in there. Sweetie, now you got it on your head. It's too hot for that, honey. <laughs> there you go, baby. Just slap it in there. Scab it off. Scab it off. Don't put no paper in there. Baby, cut the heat up on this thing. I think you got an old extreme low. Put both them burners on there. Let's get the party started, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. baby. You either finna turn this up. I'm My scared. goodness. Why are you scared of... Okay, all right, number one, ladies, what's the problem here? Folks, you can't make this shit up, right? They know this every day, okay? You're, you're missing a, an extremely important piece of gear. Okay, yeah, right there. This, It's not gonna work, it's smothering out the flame. It's not designed to sit down like that, ladies. You've got it in rice cooker mode. We can get a tune out of that trombone, ladies. There we go. So, leave it to the foreign dude to figure out why <laughs> the onions and the garlic aren't sizzling. My gosh. Now we're getting a little action here. The Lord said, let there be heat. So I thought your sister was going to cook, but it looks like you come out here and took over. Do you, do you know how to cook garlic shrimp with butter? It's pretty simple. Just add the shrimp and you're cooking. That's all you got to do. Is it too hot? You need me to turn it down? I think it's, it's on wide open right now. Yeah, cut it down a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Liz, why do you do so much stress to me? Simple things like cooking. things just turn pink almost immediately so much heat in that walk hit it baby yeah I put a little too big in there That much heat, it don't take long to cook these shrimps. You probably should have let the, bar the garlic cook a little bit longer, baby. 
before adding the shrimps. I like the garlic snack. You like it not cooked? Okay, everybody's got their own flavor. What size are you making to go with this? Anything other than rice? So the only side that I'm gonna have to go with this is rice. Ladies, do you understand that the foreign guy wants some size and I don't want the rice? Maybe I need more than just bread. How about some garlic mashed potatoes with gravy? Baked, baked beans. Go ahead, baby. What you what you doing? Putting the water in there? A little too big? A little too big. A little bit more, baby. I put all that water in there. Let it boil off. It's up to you, baby. You the chef. You do what you want. Oh, that's too much water. This is me. You said I'm the chef. Now you know how I feel every night when I cook and you come try to tell me what to do and what kind of spice to put in there. Oh, you burn it, blah, blah, blah. Baby, are you going to put some seasoning? Seasoning. Where's the seasoning? No, 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 on the two of you. Negative. Negative, negative. All right, I'll take the salt. Don't bring the two of you out here. If you bring that Tuyo out, I'm giving it to the homeless. I'm not going to veto that, but I don't want that damn Tuyo. Who's the chef? Me or you? You, but don't put no Tuyo. Why are you always cooking? Because you don't know how to cook, I'll be honest with you. You're beautiful, but you don't know how to cook, honey. Whoa, whoa, I don't want the salt, baby. Whoa. Got the taxi over there. Why is the, the taxi in here is blue? Because blue is your favorite color. No. Filipina's favorite color is yellow, the color of Western Union. It's not. Yeah. Your favorite color is yellow. Really? Yeah. No. It's every girl's dream is to get a Western Union t-shirt with all the points that she's accumulated from getting money sent to her via Western Union. Let me try. Oh, Florentina wants to go. I'm the one to take her to baby. You want to go, you want to go, Flo? Yeah. You want to try? Right. I'm so, I mean, I'm scared too. The airplane's not yet finished. <laughs> uh, Fatima says those ultralights, the airplane is not finished yet. She says she'll fly in it once they finish it. Put the windshield, the doors. Yeah, the one that they fly. Adventure, Mandur, no? Not me. That's adventure. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> Everybody gonna die, baby. Not now. Yeah, I know everybody <laughs> Everybody goes to die, but not now. But Flo, she want to fly? Yeah, I want to fly. Okay. All right, maybe me and Flo go tomorrow, baby. Okay, I will go. Then, then, when, tell the warrior that finish the airplane, then I'm going. <laughs> oh, he's got a bigger, baby, he's got a bigger airplane that looks more finished that I think you'd be okay in. Finish the airplane. Oh, oh, see. He's got a bigger airplane, honey. You could fly in a bigger one, I think. No, oh, no, you just you just need to fly in the bigger plane. Who are you putting to sleep in here? Oh, the Peppa the Pig. 
putting the pig to sleep? Uh -uh. Okay, cover him up. It's cold in here. Got the air con on. So sweet, Maria. You take such good care of your dolls and your baby dolls and that pig. Good job, sweetie. There you go. Now you can breathe. You got a little baby newborn pig. <laughs> Good job, sweetie. Okay. You gonna bring him in here? Okay, bring the pig out here. She's so sweet, my friends. My goodness. She got her pig. She put her pig to sleep. All right, take a taster. What's that? It's not you, enough to... Need salt? So. Flo, you always say that everything needs salt. I mean, I did agree with her on that chicken soup. You didn't put no salt in there. Maybe she's right. Huh? A little bit of salt, baby. Not too much. Just don't put no to you. No. <laughs> How is it now? It's okay now? Yeah. All right. Is it too salty though? That's all right. What'd you call it, baby? The duck bowl. <laughs> dog bowl. Uh, you can laugh at them dog bowls all you want, but they're stainless steel and they don't break. They're very effective at cooking. Baby, that's the difficult way. Let me let me get my glove. I'm gonna dump it in there for you. That's gonna take forever, and you're spilling the juice. You got some leakage. That's a hard way, baby. I want to help you, but all you got to do is say, "King Marquitos." Will you please help me dump the shrimps in this dog bowl? Flo, Flo, that's so beautiful. There is nothing more beautiful daddy, than a Filipina. Daddy, 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 daddy. What, sweetie? Oh, we got an ant over here? Okay, Papa will get him. Thank you, sweetie. There is nothing more beautiful than a Filipina mopping the floor. My goodness. Especially when she's wearing a pair of Daisy Duke shorts. Makes you want to sing. Who's that girl with them Daisy Dukes on? Who's that girl with the Daisy Dukes on? All right, everyone. How is that shrimp? Ooh, Maria's not wasting no time. She said the juice is good. Forrest G. How is it? Did anybody taste it yet? It looks delicious. Just save some juice for the foreign guy. Y'all can eat all the shrimp, but I'll take the juice. Yeah. Foreign dude loves the gravy. How is it, honey? Delicious. It's still delicious. You know why? Because I picked out the best shrimps in Angeles City. For you ladies. My God, you're so lucky to be with me. I'm lucky to be with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see this gentleman come by every day late, creeping. He probably been working on that damn thing all day long. Just taking it to the barn. I'm gonna start tossing him a cold beer every night. 